Since my childhood, I always like to wander. I go on going here, there, everywhere. Wherever my mind takes me. And many times, many times, I realize, I see people. They do not think before they say anything. Neither do they think after what they have said. They do not listen to what is being said in front of them. But they try to listen, which is not being said for them, which is not being talked for them. They are always bothered of what are they getting. Why so? They always go on counting. They have always gone missing. I can survive. It's humanly impossible for any human being on this earth to calculate so much. But we do not fail to calculate. We might forget anything else, but we do not forget to calculate. Why does this happen? Everyone I see is always bothered of what do I get? And I get to know, I realize, I understand. The ultimately their diary is full of big zeros. Because, just because of one thing, they do not know the difference between what I get, what I can, and what do I achieve. We use these three words very, very frivolously. We are very frivolous about using these words. I get something, I gain something, I achieve something. There's a hell lot of difference, big, huge difference is the words. I get. I get money. And I gain money. What did you get? There is basically a passive element in that. You get. So somebody is giving you. I got this award. Means somebody awarded you. So I got it. But I gained. There are efforts to gain. And achievement is beyond that, beyond gain. There are not only efforts, there are efforts with proper direction, with proper force, a full of force. And beyond that is his persuasion of the matter. That is achievement. <clears throat> but we misuse these words in our own life, in our own thinking, getting. I got, I gained and I achieved. Unless we remove these confusions from our mind, we will not be able to get real success and peace in our mind. Why so? Why we, why we cannot differentiate the real meanings of these words? Because we are never taught to do that. We are never learned to do that. Just know one thing, that get is a word related only to the God. Whatever he gives, you cannot gain or achieve. Only you get. So get is the word is actually only meant for God. He gave, I got. He gives and I get. He will give me and I will get it. I gave with my own efforts. But achievement is me plus God together. Achievement is me plus God together. This difference one has to understand. And, and without understanding this, what did we do? Goes in very ultimately. Why? Because we are never learned. We go to the school and we want to get marks. Our parents are happy if we get 90 out of 100 or 9500 or 98 out of 100. Our teachers also praise only those who get higher marks. Or others who get the less marks. We are taught, okay, make it by heart. Just say this. Just speak out. This lesson by lesson, word by word, word by word. We go on, chat, blah, 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 blah. So it is not an examination of our knowledge, it is an examination of our memory. <coughs> Where these entrance exams are what? What are they? These 200, 300 questions coming from some remotest corner of Facebook. The article is about the test of your memory and luck. That is not a real examination at all. It is big bakwas. Absolutely. It is stupidity. So you are not testing knowledge of a person, you are testing only the memory. 
our memory is not going to help you much. It's your knowledge and the application of knowledge, what you have learned. How you use, how you use your knowledge. Which way, which direction, which means what perceptions and what perseverance. You go on putting forward your thoughts in a particular sequence, in a particular way. And it's what matters. But that just doesn't occur because of one thing we never understood. What is the difference between to get, to gain and to achieve? You get everything from God. You gain with your own efforts and you achieve only if your efforts and God's wish, they come together. Right? And for that you must understand. What you gain, you can lose. But what you have gotten from the God, His Lord, your Lord, what you achieve with the help of God, by chanting His name in His presence, that remains with you always, that never lives. And that's why achievement in this world should be used exceptionally. We should know. We go on, but this is my achievement, this is my achievement, this is my achievement. No, achievement is something with which you are going to become more peaceful with yourself, more happy with yourself. And your self-confidence is going to increase, not in a wrong way, but in a right way. That's all.